Hold up, Serebi. The maintenance of Flicting Pokemon Bank and Poke Transporter has now come to a close. Are you serious right now? It is time to get into this Poke Transporter right now. The first thing I'm doing, the first thing I'm doing is seeing if Missing No will transfer. What about all of these other like crazy glitch Pokemon? Will they make it through? Is the maintenance really over right now? Use this game. We got to connect to the internet. All right. And let's go. Yeah, I think it would have said maintenance by this point. Oh, I, I tapped the screen and bad things happened, but we are communicating with Pokemon Bank. Wow, that's ma that maintenance was way shorter than expected. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's happening. Pokemon sent to Pokemon Bank cannot be returned. Uh, transfer nicknames, OTs, your Pokemon will be erased if they contain any prohibited words. You know what? That's, that's just fine. Uh, oh, it said something. Oh, any Pokemon that could not be transported has been removed from the transport box. Oh, problematic Pokemon have been removed, guys. Yo, I don't even remember what was in that box, but there was a lot of it. Uh, so we have three. We got some, we got some Machop here. So let's go and put that in. Was that, were those all my Mews? Did they, did they actually put Mew down as a problematic Pokemon? I didn't, also, is it only transferring one? Okay, transport box. Please open Pokemon Bank to check, check Pokemon in your transport box. So that's, now we have to hop on over to the Pokemon Bank. Oh, yo, that's crazy. That's crazy right now. So we're going to see what else can get through. I, I didn't, wow, I didn't think it was going to be that efficient. And I just, I just opened up my red, blue, yellow and said, well, actually, I need to go and start moving Pokemon around. It kind of sucks how clunky red blue is for all the transporter, but I'm going to I'm going to figure this one out. Okay guys, false alarm. Here's where all of my Mews are right here. So I'm going to go withdraw these Mews, put them into the first box. I got scared. I didn't remember what Pokémon were where. Also, I didn't look into the box. I don't know if they like completely re that would be really messed up if they just took those Pokémon like, "Oh, by the way, you don't get to bring any of these guys over." So, I'm going to go and do this transfer with the Mew as well. And then, I, I like I said, I didn't think it was happening. I thought it'd be kind of a slower process, you know, one by one, but they're like scanning. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see what else we can get through right here. Cause this is just nuts. All right, here it is boys. When you use Pokemon Sun and Moon, you do receive a Munium Z. So that's actually pretty awesome right there. So the missing node didn't seem to make it. I'm gonna grab those 73 battle points because that's pretty nice right there. So we can use the battle points. And then if we go over to the transport box, now this is where we just go and grab all of these Pokemon. So yeah, the Mew weren't in there, but I'm, I'm really interested to see in what else we can get. And then we're just gonna go and pop these guys into Pokemon Sun and Moon. That feels awesome right here. Why does that, why does that say Slowbro? Why does that say Marowak? Why does that say Mewtwo? Wait, I'm... I Did did that did that screw up the IDs? It seems like everything got shifted over by one. Oh! Oh, we might have some fun with this, guys! We might have some fun with this! So depending on what Pokemon were and were not recognized, it might have gotten the data crossed over. We're gonna see what happens with that, but now it's time to go and save. And let's go back and see what happens when we transfer with the Poke Transporter now. Okay, there is at least one Pokemon in the box that cannot be sent, and then that Pokemon gets sent away. Oh, the Mews do not transfer, but that Marowak is a glitch Marowak. That what happened was I caught a Marowak, and I showed this in uh, my Missing No video. So I caught a Marowak that was like level 130 something. I leveled it up and then reset its level back to 100 by doing the battles. So that's going to be interesting to see, but it looks like Mew does not get through. Alrighty then, and now we get to go and see what else happens here. So uh, we go to the Pokemon bank, we check it out on Pokemon Sun and Moon, and that's just kind of the video right now. It's like, do a quick little thing, skip to the next part, hope for the best, and see what happens. Moment of truth, guys. We are in Pokemon Sun and Moon. We're here to check out the Pokemon that we just transferred over, and I think I went in the wrong direction for my box, but we'll eventually catch up and see what we have right here. Now, the names were really messing with me. So that's Muck, Ditto, Nidoking, Hypno, Body Slam, Amnesia, Sideway, Fissure, Teleport, Poison, Gas. Okay, so it shuffled around the names. Oh, wait, no, it says name, Nido, okay. So it gives a different nickname right there, but it keeps everything about the Pokemon the same. Impish, 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 Timid. Okay, I got my Timid Fissure Machoke, guys. That's uh, pretty good. How did I get so many impish natures is what I want to know. 
Also, I accidentally exited out of the PC. I meant to hit some other buttons. Uh, the, the, the transfer is just strange right here. So, what are we looking for? I need to hit the judge button. I was like, oh, we didn't get fast speed. Because for Fissure Machamp to work, you need to have that speed right there. So, it looks like I have some more Pokemon to transfer. I have to put them all into box one. And that's an outstanding potential, which is interesting. So, yeah, we do have the four. That, that one's four. So, we got three guaranteed IVs. Can get more. Four seems to be fairly common as well. Like, I just need speed. I don't even need, like, attack. I just need, like, speed and hit points. So we have some interesting nature stuff. That's going to be the Mewtwo. There's, or that's going to be the Marowak. There's my Mewtwo. There's a Slowbro. Like, it's so confusing to look at this. And then this is the glitched um, Marowak that ended up not becoming a glitched Marowak. So, Focus Energy, Thrash, Bone Ring. And I don't think this thing has impossible stats. Because, yeah, I overleveled it back down to 100. And then that gave it different stats and stuff. So, interesting. Mew not happening when it comes to that so that means the only way of getting Mew is going to be through the uh pokemon th through the events that they had and we still have Mew uh, munium z so the munium z is usable Mew not transferable i want to do a lot of other testing to see what we get out of this and then the name changes are super crazy and then there i mean that's it that's all we need with the neo king right there oh actually i don't think these will be usable on the battle spot if they have the wrong name because Pokemon that are named like similar names does the battle spot pick up on that because I know it's banned from VGC so that'd be a really weird side effect of this uh, we I'm gonna go test that really quick I'm gonna go test that right now moment of truth so I did throw in the Machoke hopefully that works will the team make it through oh it looks like we are good also I didn't check that I didn't check the nature or the abilities on the uh, on those Pokemon right there, but yeah, I just wanted to—I just wanted to see what we have right there. I'm just going to leave this battle immediately. That's some interesting stuff. So the name is kind of glitched out, but I guess it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't matter on the battle spot because it doesn't show those nicknames. But I feel that those would actually not be usable in tournament. And did this even have the No Guard on the uh, Machoke? Because I just—I just want to get using. It. it has Steadfast. Okay. So is Steadfast the hidden ability? For, for Machoke and Machamp. That's another thing to check out. So I'm just going to go and register and then do all these things right here. And then we're, we're going to go and check one more thing before we end this crazy little video right here. I didn't notice it before, but they all have their hidden abilities. Well played, Game Freak. They, okay, much credit to Game Freak because even though they've dropped the ball insanely with hackers i mean pokemon bank pokemon were being traded before pokemon bank was even out but at the same time look at this right here we have steadfast we have all the hidden abilities so there's no way of getting the no guard fissure machamp that dream is dead right there mew didn't make it through we have like legal unnerved mewtwo that's available as well so for closing thoughts i don't really know what to say like i'm pretty disappointed that we couldn't get all of the crazy awesome pokemon through and that everything failed like the fisherman champ fizzled out we just didn't really get it but at least after almost one year of w waiting like ever since the virtual console came out that's when the theories began that's what's like will pokey transporter allow this and we did not get it so i'm just trying to figure out some other things like i'm going to try some trainer fly glitching i think i'm wondering what happens if you trainer fly also i need to get a fly pokemon what happens if you trainer fly uh moltres and articuno zapdos or mewtwo will it be that just like specific pokemon are banned is it only like certain po yeah are specific pokemon targeted in this and that others are still allowed because there's only a few ways of getting the mew through glitching and also one thing that makes it really interesting is I'm wondering if it is a blanket ban on the Mew because there were events and distributions. Interestingly enough, Japan and Europe had a Mew giveaway. So 22nd of November and Virtual Console Red, Green, Blue, and Yellow. So what I really want to know is if anyone actually received one of these Pokemon Sun and Moon launch party Virtual Console distribution Mews in either UK or Japan and you have a legit one, will that transfer over? Did they do like a blanket ban on Mew or are they allowing things that have like the specific original trainer and the game ID? I mean, technically, I guess it would be possible if like you made your OT Game Freak and then or GF and then you also got that and then that's kind of how it would let the Pokemon transfer. 
I'm not even sure. Same for uh, Japan that we have probably Game Freak or something, and then the same ID. So maybe it's based off of ID as well. So the Mew didn't make it through, and then other things didn't make it through, and then I guess it's just looking into what else happened, because what really gets me is that name glitch. Now, I heard there's already a download for the Pokemon Transporter 1.2, and I don't know if that's going to change any of these glitches or any of these, like, weird Pokemon anomalies. I think that's kind of it. So, Pokemon Bank, that's what we know right now. Uh, I'm still going to be planning on doing some guides and getting some information out there. So, I'll see you guys with that. But, yeah, this is just crazy.